Hello, I want to show you some news about the uh, contribution package of Modbus for Node-RED and uh, I started in for both mode here and sent the data to a log that we can see it in the console and um, yeah, you see then more information about communications of the Modbus client and all these uh, all the nodes which is uh, using the uh, communication configuration client. Okay, um, the test flow is here in the examples directory, uh, localhost, or in uh, the flows node red website, and you can copy it, import it here clipboard say uh, paste and make a new flow to get a um, new tab okay and um, the really whole new way is here that we have a new uh, communication library uh, npm package modbus serial before it was js modbus or node modbus uh, now it's modbus serial um, because code quality is much higher and uh, it brings very new features to uh, the package also, the stately machine is uh, to have a uh, directly organizing of data and commands inside uh, Node-RED so that we have more control and uh, deeper handling um, to change uh, the communication environment for our devices. So you can set up a queue or you can leave it. So um, if you switch the queue uh, to off, then every uh, command will be sent directly to uh, the Modbus communication and you get maybe uh, more errors. Huh? If you set up the queue to true, then you can handle also um, a bit delay between every sending to the device. So you have uh, really uh, directly control uh, what happens in the communication. This delay will be uh, set up after you're responding from the device or um, if you get an error or whatever then uh, it takes uh, here in this uh, case 100 milliseconds to send the next command you can set this to zero if you say okay please send immediately and as fast as you can then yeah, set it to zero and it works also very well timeout is uh, the setup for every command um, when the timeout is for uh, the command it will be given to direct directly to the Modbus serial, and uh, yeah, so you get a timeout <coughs> message. Reconnect is uh, to have a bit time before your uh, communication client uh, or, or the Modbus client node tries to reconnect. So if you have a s slower device, you can say here, okay, give a, give a bit time before you are try to reconnect after closing or broken uh, connectivity, whatever. Okay, when we go to serial, we have a new selection of uh, more serial types. RTU is sending directly and you have to get your responding at once. Um, RTU buffered means that uh, all this uh, data will be uh, buffered until the responding is completely um, or completed. Then ASCII and all this stuff is a whole new way to communicate with Modbus devices. It uh, wasn't there before. So also you can set up <coughs> the speed and all this stuff. Connection delay is to uh, set up a bit time on um, connecting for the serial COM port. So sometimes in uh, Windows or other systems maybe you have a bit time to wait uh, until the port is really um, yeah, ready to, to connect. So connection delay time is take a bit time, maybe 500 milliseconds before you try to open after deploy and um, other reconnecting events. Reconnect itself is also like a, as a TCP. Um, if the communication is broken, please wait five seconds in this case um, before you try to reconnect. And also the stuff with the queue commands. Now we are here queuing commands and uh, take a bit time to uh, send the next with 100 milliseconds. Timeout, all the same. And uh, here, 
that's it. The stately machine is very uh, well, cool to uh, give the information about the state of uh, communication to back to the nodes because uh, in this configuration I have multiple nodes which are all talk with the same um, communication client. So um, every node is uh, sending every second or try to send this command uh, every second. So it will be cute, it will, be, uh, it will work at, da, 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 at the same uh, time. So if we get some error like here, so boom, you see uh, it changed very fast. But also we get an error with the catch. We can uh, handle the error. What happens? Maybe a wrong writing multiply because uh, the input value isn't, the, isn't correct to the configuration in the message. So because we have here 10 um, items of 16-bit chunks and this will be set up to the value and sent with uh, function code 15 to unit 1 at address 10 with quantity 9. But we have 10 values. So uh, the check of the Writer of flexible write node says, "Okay, that have that is the only one I want to be uh, equal. So if you say ten, then I want ten from you. So that uh, should prepare for shifting data and uh, maybe helps to um, stop communicating if your data are changing from uh, outside. Um, maybe when you react on events from from uh, other IoT devices, whatever." then uh, if your interface is changing, then communication stops. Yes, that is the idea. <clears throat> okay, you can do this on uh, the different uh, nodes and um, different function codes. Also, the getter is uh, nearly the same. The only difference is the setup here is an input because we have no values to write, we just have an input uh, and we give it uh, to the node to have the same interface in handling messages. Okay, um, <clears throat> uh, the getter node um, gets some more information. All this what you are giving the flexible writer or reader to um, by the message. You have here uh, the setup. And the unit ID every time is uh, overwriting the unit ID from the configuration. You will see this it, uh, if it's empty here, it every time is zero. Zero as a basic default value. So if here it is zero and uh, at your um, incoming node it is zero, then it will be zero. <laughs> okay. Um, but when you say here, okay, I want to write to one unit ID one. Uh, then it's uh, it will be sent the message to unit ID or with unit ID one, uh, and then this will not be used. Also, if you say here it's uh, unit ID two for all other nodes, but when uh, your node says, "Oh, I want to use uh, unit ID one," then it gets one. So this value every time overrides the value in the server communication. Okay, um, da, da, then in the communication for polling, we have also the poll rate um, with milliseconds and all this stuff. And show activities is um, to have <coughs> some more details about switching in the state machine and all this stuff. So uh, to get more information if it's polling or uh, to, uh, just for maybe debugging or trying some different uh, configurations with the device, you can get more information and showing activities uh, what happened. Um, also, the state machine informations will be uh, written to uh, the status of um, these nodes, so you can see changing. Maybe here we can set up this form. I mean, that should be work to see what I mean. So and I hear right really fast, then we see oh it's connected and this is a bit 
and because I try to write when it's maybe not ready to write. Huh? And so it will be cute, but we see, hey, I'm in status connected or I'm status writing or I changed back to connected, whatever. I get some more infos um, on show activities. Yeah, that's it. Play around with. Let me know how it works for you and uh, try out your new uh, configuration setup tools, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see <laughs> that uh, the WordPress serial working very well and uh, I get really clear coding in, uh, in the package. So it should be uh, work more stable for you. And I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, have fun, play around, see you, bye bye.